everyone, this is Ekatna here in this video. We are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x cos x into dy by dx plus x sin x plus cos x into y equals to 1. Solution. Given differential equation. x cos x into dy by dx plus x sin x plus cos x into y equals to 1. We know that the standard form of a linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, right? So, in order to make the given differential equation to the standard form of linear equation, what we have to do is, we have to make the coefficient of dy by dx as 1. Okay, but here we are having x cos x, so that what we'll do is, we'll divide the whole equation by this, function that is x cos x or you can just simply write directly dy by dx plus x sin x plus cos x by x cos x into y equals to 1 by x cos x or if you have any confusion simply divide the whole equation by x cos x that is on both sides okay and you'll get x cos x into dy by dx plus x sin x plus cos x into y by x cos x equals to 1 by x cos x okay and in the LHS you are having 1 2 Two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this into two terms. Then you'll get x cos x into dy by dx by x cos x plus the second term. Terms under bracket, brackets into y. x sin x plus cos x into y by x cos x equals to 1 by x cos x. Right here, x cos x gets cancelled in the first term. And you'll get dy by dx plus x sin x plus cos x into y by x cos x equals to 1 by x cos x. Right. You can just write directly or you can divide the given equation by the quotient of dy by dx. Fine. Now, you can write this as dy by dx plus. See, here you are having two terms and one term, right? So, we can split this into two terms. Then you will get x sin x by x cos x plus cos x by x cos x into y equals to 1 by x cos x. So here x gets cancelled and in the second term cos x gets cancelled then. dy by dx plus sin x by cos x is tan x plus 1 by x into y equals to 1 by x cos x, right? Which is in linear equation in y form, right? The standard form of linear equation in y form. We got dy by dx plus tan x plus 1 by x into y equals to 1 by x cos x. We 
which is of linear equation in y form. Okay. Now, see you have the quotient of dy by dx is 1, just like the standard form. Now, by comparing these two, we'll get p and q. Okay. Where p equals to tan x plus 1 by x and q equals to 1 by x cos x. Here p and q are functions of x. Now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of the given equation or the linear form is given by if equals to e power integral p dx and using this formula we will find the suitable integrating factor or our integrating factor to the given equation. Right? Integrating factor if equals to e power integral p dx equals to e power integral tan x plus 1 by x into dx. Again, you can write this as e power integral tan x into dx plus integral 1 by x dx. Integral 1 by x into dx. Since we know that integral tan x dx is log mod secant x plus c that is integral constant and integral 1 by x dx is log mod x plus c. We will not write any constant c here. Okay. We will write finally in the general solution. So this becomes integrating factor equals to e power integral tan x dx is log mod secant x plus integral 1 by x dx is log mod x which is equals to e power log secant x plus log x. We know that since log a plus log b equals to log a b then this this becomes e power log x into secant x secant x into x otherwise you can just write this as secant x into x this equals to e power log x secant x. Right. We know that since e power log some function of x equals to function of x then this becomes function of x that is x secant x. So therefore our integrating factor is x secant x. Fine. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of a linear equation in y is in dy by dx plus p into y equals to q form is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. Okay. 
actually we have written this give an equation to standard form of linear equation right so we'll use that the general solution of we give an equation is y into integrating factor x secant x equals to integral q we have q 1 by x cos x into integrating factor x secant x into dx plus c here x gets cancelled this equals to integral we know that reciprocal of cos x is secant x then this becomes secant x into secant x to dx plus c then x y secant x equals to integral secant square x into dx plus c since integral secant square x dx is equals to tan x plus c this becomes integral secant square x dx is tan x plus integral constant c so you got x y secant x equals to tan x or simply write secant x as reciprocal of cos x and you'll get x y into 1 by cos x equals to tan x plus c then x y equals to take cos x to rhs it becomes cos x into tan x plus c also we know that or we have an identity tan x equals to sin x by cos x right now replace tan x by sin x by cos x or just simplify it we have x y equals to cos x into tan x plus c cos x now replace tan x by sin x by cos x then you'll get x y equals to cos x into sin x by cos x plus c cos x so here cos x gets cancelled and you'll get x y equals to sin x plus c cos x it is a required general solution either you can stop it here or you can continue the process okay fine so we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye